In this video, we're going to be looking at our third transformation, um, which we're going to call re of reflection. And um, so just to review a transformation. Is an operation that maps an original geometric figure called the pre image onto a new figure called the image. Okay, so all of these are starting with that same basic definition because these all form um, are, are all um, types of transformations. So specifically in this one, we're looking at the reflection. So a reflection is a mirror image of the original figure. It's the result of a transformation of a figure over a line called the line of reflection. Okay, or you can also call this the line of symmetry. So you may have heard the word symmetric before and basically a mirror image or a symmetric image is just when, um, if you look at a, uh, your image in the mirror, it's actually sort of backwards. Um, so that's what you're doing with just a geometric figure. So when you reflect over the x-axis, so if I look at this um, triangle right here, if I want to reflect it over the x-axis, so this is my x-axis, so I'm kind of thinking about how I would draw a symmetric figure or the mirror image of this triangle over this. Um, so basically, if I took this paper and I folded it in, in half, okay, and I folded it along the line of the x-axis, then this triangle should match up with a triangle over here that I would draw. If it matches up, then these are symmetric. So that's the triangle I'm trying to draw when I'm making a reflection. And when you reflect it over the x-axis, so if I want to know, okay, if the point A is here, okay, where would the point A be over here if I just folded this um, paper in half? Um, so this is 2 from the x-axis, so I would say that this would also be 2 just on the other side. And this C is 1, 2, 3. It's 3 from this line here, right? So this just needs to be 3 going the opposite direction. And B is just 1 away, so it's just going to stay 1 away. It's just going to be on the other side of that line, All right? So if I'm reflecting over the x-axis, okay, and I would call this one A prime, this one is the opposite of C, right? So C prime, and this would be my B prime over the X axis. Then I can see that the X coordinate is still negative five for both of these. What changed was the Y coordinate. So this was positive two, but now it's negative two. And that's gonna be the true anytime you reflect over the X axis. So the X coordinate, when it's the X axis is the same, it's the Y coordinate that changes to the opposite. Okay, so we would write this as the rule, if I start with x, y, then the x is not gonna change, so it's still gonna be x. y is gonna be the opposite of y, so that will, would be negative y. We can show um, that y is the opposite by making it negative. All right, if I'm trying to reflect over the y-axis, so first I was doing the x-axis, so I was reflecting over this line right here. This is over x. But now I wanna reflect over this line. Okay, all right, so I wanna go from this side over here. Now I'm folding my paper a different direction. So I want C to be over here. So if it's one, two, three places here, then I would say one, two, three places here, okay, over this line. And A is one, two, three, four, five places. So one, two, three, four, five places here would be my A prime. And B was one, two, so one, two would be my new B, B prime. And so I can see that my new triangle, all right, if I folded this paper in half on the y-axis now, then these two triangles match up, all right? So how did that change the coordinates? Well, it didn't change the y. So if, if I just look at C, the y-coordinates, three is the same for both of these. What changed was the x. So here it was negative three, but here it's positive three. So to write that as a rule, all right, the y coordinate didn't change. The y, when you're reflecting over the y axis, the y coordinate will be the same. It's the x coordinate that changes to the opposite. Okay, so the y is the same. So y is going to stay y. x is going to the opposite. So I'll show that with a negative x. So this time I'm going from this to this. So this would be over y. Okay, all right. So let's apply that to this first example. It says triangle ABC has vertices 5, 2, 1, 3, and negative 1, 1.
graph the figure and its reflected image over the x-axis, and that's important. I need to pay attention to which line I'm um, reflecting over. Write an algebraic re representation that explains the effect of the reflection, then determine the coordinates of the vertices of the reflected image. Okay, so the rule when I'm reflecting over x is that x stays the same. All right, so the x is going to be the same, and y is going to change to the opposite, negative y. So for this one, if a, if the x is 5, 2, then that's going, x is going to stay the same, and then y will be the opposite. So the opposite of 2 is negative 2. So for 1, 3, 1 is going to stay the same, and then the opposite of 3 is negative 3. And then, again, for negative 1, 1, if x is the same, it's negative 1. If I do the opposite, then I get negative 1. So my new image, A prime, will be 5, negative 2. B prime will be 1, negative 3. And then C prime will be negative 1, negative 1. Okay. So, sorry. can see all of that. Um, so then when I graph the image, I'm going to start with, let's say, um, A. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, oops, sorry. Ignore that. So 5, 2. I need to go up to 2. 5, 2. This would be my A. Just ignore that. And then B would be 1, 3. So I'm going to go over 1, 1, 2, 3. That would be my B. And C is negative 1, 1. So negative 1, 1 would be right here. Okay, so I can see the triangle. These three points are forming. I'm reflecting over the x-axis. That's this line here. So I'm reflecting over x. So then my new triangle should be down here. So 5, negative 2. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then negative 2, 1, 2 would be right here is my a prime. And you can see that this is two away. So this is two away from the line of reflection. And then b would be 1, negative 3. So 1, 1, 2, 3 would be down here, b prime. And again, you can see that this is 1, 2, 3, and this is 1, 2, 3. So that's correct. And then C prime is negative 1, negative 1. So that would be here. And these are both 1 away from the x-axis. So if I draw my new triangle, it looks like this. Again, if I fold up my paper in half, these triangles match up. So I've drawn the reflection okay, across the x-axis. Right on the next page says, in example two, quadrilateral KLMN has vertices K23, L51, M4, negative two, and N1, negative one. Graph the figure and its reflection over the y-axis. Write an algebraic representation that explains the effect of the reflection and then determine the coordinates of the vertices of the reflected image. All right, so if I'm reflecting over the y-axis, then that tells me y will be the same, and x will be the opposite. So I'm going to change the x. So in my first image, in my pre-image, k is 2, 3. L is 5, 1. M is 4, negative 2. N is 1, negative 1. All right. So um, the rule, I'm starting with 2, 3. And the y is going to say the same. So 3 is going to say the same. And then 2 will be the opposite. So 2 changes to negative 2. Starting with 5, 1. So the y stays the same. And x changes to the opposite, negative 5. M, 4, negative 2. Keep y the same. Keep the negative 2 and change 4 to the opposite. Um, 1, negative 1. So keep the y and change x to the opposite. So negative 1. So then my image, k prime, will be negative 2, 3. L prime will be negative 5, 1. M prime will be negative 4, negative 2. N prime, negative 1, negative 1. All right, so let's go ahead and put these on the graph. So K was 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. This is K. 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then up to 1 would be right here. 4, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 is M, and N is 1, negative 1. So 1, negative 1 is N. Okay, so I can see this is my quadrilateral. 
This time I'm reflecting over the Y axis. So this time I'm reflecting over this axis right here. So that tells me that um, image should be on this side. All right, so if I did it correctly, it'll end up over here. So K prime is negative two, three, so negative two, and then one, two, three would be here. And I can see that this was two, and this is two away from the line of, of reflection, so that's good. Negative five, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then one is L prime. Again, these are both the same distance from the Y axis. Negative four, two, negative two, one, two, three, four, one, two, would be M prime, and then N prime is negative one, negative one, so right here. Okay, again, these are the same distance, these are the same distance. So what you should see is that mirror image across the y-axis, okay? Which you do, all right? So again, think about folding it in half. Um, and do, you, do the, the points match up if you fold this in half? Since reflected figures have the same shape, okay, and they have the same size as their pre-images, they can be known as congruent figures. All right, so they're the same size, which is what makes them congruent, okay? They can have the same shape and not be the same size. That's, that would be similar. Okay, in this case, they're both, so they're congruent. The orientation, okay, so really what we're talking about here is the, um, like the direction of the, um, of the image, okay? So the orientation or the direction is not preserved because when we flip it over, right? Okay, so in this time, LK was kind of going, if you think about the original image, Okay, if I look at the slope of KL right here, it's going down. But then when I flipped it over, now that same line is going, has a positive slope, right? It's going up. So the orientation, the direction was not preserved because the figure was flipped over the line of reflection. So instead, the figures are symmetric. And the line of reflection can also be known as the line of symmetry. So again, you have congruent figures, same size, they're just not facing the same direction, okay? So we can say that they're symmetric, but their orientation hasn't been preserved. All right, let's look at example three. It says the figure at the right is reflected over the x-axis. Determine the coordinates of point A prime and point B prime, then sketch the image of on the coordinate plane, All right? So I can see the A prime is right here. I'm reflecting over the x-axis, so that's this line right here. Okay, so I can just do it this way. A is two away, so A prime also has to be two away. So this would be A prime. So the coordinates of that would be when A prime is negative two, and then down negative two. Okay, and then B is right here. So if I reflect it over X, and so that's two from here, so that would be two from here. B prime is going to be down here. So B prime is positive two, and then down to negative two. All right, so then if I want to try to graph this on the other side, and that's a little harder. So like this should match up right here. So I'm kind of doing this thing. This point is what it's about right here. I don't know. And then it goes like this. And then this point is like right here. This point is going in. That point is like right there. And then this is like there. All right, so you're just kind of guessing a little bit since these aren't actually on on a actual point. Okay, B is, let's see, it goes from here, goes from here to here, B. And then this point is like right there. And then B is like right here, or not B, but that last one. Something like this, and then back to where you start. All right, so not perfect, but you kind of get that again. So I'm trying to reflect this over here, this, and get um, a similar shape. All right, so the coordinates of a point and its image after a reflection are given. Describe the reflection as over the x-axis or y-axis. All right, so here they've given me the rule, so this, the point, a was at four negative two, but its reflection or a prime is at four positive two. All right, so what I want to look at is what stayed the same. So the x coordinate stayed the same, but y switched to the opposite. So if x is the same, then that's been reflected over the x axis. 
right? And that's all they're asking for. And then on example five, a is two negative seven, but the reflection a prime is at negative two, negative seven. So again, I'm looking at what stayed the same. So two and negative two, those are opposite, negative seven and negative seven. So the y coordinate stayed the same. So that tells me it was reflected over the y axis. All right. Um, so that's our uh, third transformation. That's uh, reflections. So you can either be over reflecting over the x-axis or the y-axis um, and just pay attention to which one it's asking for because that'll change um, how you uh, write the coordinates of each point. All right. See you soon.